You know, I didn't, uh, I guess I am a fucking winner, and so are you, young lady. I didn't tell anybody that, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run on stage naked and, and, and fucking uh, explode in a, in, a, in a fireball of, uh, of cash and bitches, you know. <laughs> now that I mention it, hold on, give me a minute. If that was the case, I'd be on all the days, so yeah, thank you. So it's interesting, um, but my shows have turned into, uh, at least in certain cities, uh, somewhat of a rally. You did the walk for bipolar awareness. Awareness, yeah. Um, that was epic. He literally walked from the hotel to the venue, and it was fucking ridiculous. I didn't go. He was like, he called me, are you coming? I'm like, yeah, you know what, start without me. Because I was stuck on the highway, and I saw, like, helicopters. I go, what do we get helicopters in Toronto from? And then, and I saw I heard on the news, and then they were just following his march, and it was it was a mass of people in you. Yeah, it was epic. It, uh, it was an idea. Uh, no. You had that idea um, minutes after we met. I did. Yes. Yeah. You said, "Hey, how far is the venue?" I go, "Can we walk?" And I go, "You probably could." Oh, that was the first day. Yes. And yeah. then the second day, you actually did it. Yeah. But I didn't know I'd be uh, walking for bipolar awareness the second day. You have to because you were bipolar, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you started out so happy, yeah, and then my kids, by the time you got there, it all went bad. 